Welcome to the Blind Android Users Channel. This is your source for everything Android tutorials and demos, all from a blindness perspective. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Hi, John here. And for the tip of the week this week, I'm going to show you how to assign routines on your Samsung phone to specific fingerprints. So you can have your phone do a specific thing when you unlock with a certain finger. So it can open into a specific app, it can adjust all kinds of different settings. Basically anything you can do with the built-in routines on your Samsung phone, you'll be able to do just by unlocking with a specific finger. And the prerequisite here is that you need to have an app called Routines Plus installed from the Galaxy Store. And I think you're going to need proper One UI in order to do this. I don't think it will work on One UI Core. So I'm going to include the link to the Routines Plus app in the video description or show notes. But I'm also going to show you how to get to it from the Galaxy Store. Because it's an unlisted app, which means if you search for it, it's not going to show up for some reason. So what you're going to need to do is go... If you don't have the direct link, you're going to need to go get it through the GoodLock app. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm in my app drawer now, and I'm going to open the Galaxy Store. Apps. Galaxy Store. Apps. Events button. Search button. And click on search. 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 Showing Braille keyboard. Swipe up with three fingers for more options. So I'm going to type in good luck. G. O. O. D. L. O. C. K. And that's just one word. Showing English, US QWERTY. Search. I'm going to hit search. Good luck, edit box, search. Keyboard hidden. Good luck, good luck labs in so it's good Galaxy luck Store. By good luck Navigate labs. Navigate up button. Now, it's already installed, so at the bottom, open I'm going to hit open, but if you don't have it installed, then you're going to need to hit install. And once it's installed, there'll be an open button. Good luck. Good luck. Unlabeled. And now once you're in the Good Lock app, you're going to want to go... There's two tabs at the bottom right. You're going to want to go to the one on the right. Selected Life Up tab. Life Up. Selected. And then you're going to want to scroll down until you see something called Routines Plus. One Hand Operation Plus. Routines Plus. Various features have been added. Bixby Routines, allowing you to create more power. So that's what I want. If you swipe right from here. Unlabeled button. That unlabeled button will, it's, I'm guessing it's a download button. It will send you to the Galaxy Store. Galaxy Store. Navigate up button. So here we have... Routines Plus, rated 3.5 stars. And at the bottom... Install button. I'm going to install it. Now, top apps in the category. Now, you're not going to need to open the app or anything. You just need to have it installed. So from here, I'm going to bring up the regular settings. Notification shade. Open settings button. Settings. Search settings button. Now we're going to look for biometrics. I'm going to scroll about halfway down. Wallpaper and style. Wallpaper. Themes. Themes. Wallpaper. Home screen. Layout. App. Lock screen. Screen lock. Security and privacy. Biometrics. Permission manager. That's what we want. Security and privacy. Navigate up button. Updates. Good. Privacy. Security. Heading. Biometrics. 
So the first thing under the security heading is biometrics. We're going to go there. Biometrics. Navigate up button. Now we're going to look for fingerprints. Fingerprints. Three fingerprints added. Confirm pattern. Navigate up button. Okay, so I've just put my pattern in. And what you'll notice here is... Right thumb. I've already put three fingers in here. Left thumb. And named them. Left index. So if you don't rename them, they'll just be finger one, finger two, so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Add fingerprint button. Another fingerprint. I'm going to do my left middle finger. Fingerprint registration help. Register button. The scan scanning target activated. 20% achieved. 30% achieved. Move your finger up. Move your finger up. Move your 39% achieved. 47% achieved. 54% achieved. 61% achieved. 66% achieved. Move your finger down. Move your finger up. 71% achieved. 76% achieved. Move your finger down. 83% achieved. 91% achieved. Now lift your finger. Move your finger up and to the left about one eighth of an inch and touch the target again. Done. Button. Okay, so I'm done with that and... Fingerprints. Fingerprint one. Now I'm going to go and double tap on fingerprint one because I'm going to want to rename it because it's going to make things a lot easier to know which fingerprint is associated to which finger. Fingerprint one. End of field. So I'm just going to double tap in here. Showing English. U.S. QWERTY. Type left middle. Left middle. End of field. Cancel. But save button. Keyboard hidden. Fingerprints. Left middle. So now I have my left middle finger. Left index. Left index finger. Left thumb. Left thumb. Right thumb. And right thumb. Those are my four fingerprints on this device. So now we're going to go back to the main settings. Notification shade. Open settings. But settings. Security and privacy. By notifications. Status bar. Do not. Sounds and vibration. Notification. Settings. Modes and routines. And right near the end of the first page of the settings is modes and routines. We're going to go there. Modes and routines. Navigate up button. So. This is what we have here. Modes and routines. And I'm going to hit add routine. Create routine button. Create routine. Create routine. If. So if this is the condition and for our condition is going to be unlocking with the fingerprint. So I'm going to swipe right. Add condition. Add a condition. Conditions. Navigate up button. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom because it's the last section. Routines plus. That's the heading. And after that, you'll see. Unlock with fingerprint. I'm going to hit that. Unlock with fingerprint. Select a fingerprint to use. When you selected right thumb. So this is my right thumb, which I use to unlock it normally. So I'm not going to assign this to anything specific. Not selected left thumb. I'm going to try my left thumb. Selected left thumb. Done button. Create routine. Add condition. So that's the condition. Then. Add action. I'm going to add an action. Actions. Navigate up button. So there's all kinds of things you can do with routines. I'm just going to give a few examples today. But one's going to be how to open a specific app. So I'm going to find apps. Display. Wallpaper. Lock screen. Security. Location. Accounts and ba battery. Accessibility, Bixby Voice, Music, Effects, Functions, Apps. So as you can see, there are a lot of different things to choose from. I'm going to go to Apps. Open an app or do an app action. I'm going to select that. Open an app or do an app action. Search button. Search edit box. Type Lookout. Lookout, end of field. So I just did a search for Lookout. Open Lookout. I'm going to double tap here. Checked. Selected. Checked. Check box. Cancel. But. Done. But. Create routine. Add action. 
Keyboard hidden. So now I have an action here. Remove open an app or do an app. Open an app or do an app action. Open lookout. So I have the trigger and the action. So I'm going to hit save near the save. bottom right. Modes and routines. Routine name. Now here's where you could change the name of it and customize how it looks. I'm going to leave everything how it is. Done. Button. Again, near the bottom right, hit done. Unlock with fingerprint save. Modes and routines. Create routine. Button. Okay, so I'm going to create another routine. Create routine. If. Add condition. Then. So add condition. Here's, I'm going to add a condition. Conditions. Again, find fingerprint. Routines plus. Unlock with fingerprint. Unlock with fingerprint. Not selected, left middle. I'm gonna do... Not selected, left index. Left index this time. Selected, left index. Done, button. Create routine. Then, add action. Now for my action this time, I'm going to set my phone to silent mode. Actions. Navigate up, button. Control smart things. Connections. Connected device. Sounds and vibration. Sound mode and volume. So I went to sounds and vibration. I'm going to go to sound mode and volume. Sound mode and volume. Sound mode. Sound selected. Vibrate not selected. Mute not selected. I'm going to select mute. Mute. Selected. Then near the bottom right. Done button. Done. Sound mode and volume. Create routine. Add action. Now, what I'm going to do is add another action here because I want it to also vibrate when it does this so that I know it's done it right. Actions. Navigate up button. So, let's see what we have. Connections. Here. Connected devices. Sounds and vibration. Notifications. Display. Wallpaper. Lock screen. Security, location, accounts and back, battery, accessibility, Bixby voice, music, effects, functions. So I think it's effects. under effects. Let's see what's here. Beep once. Yeah, you can have it beep. Vibrate once. I'm going to have it vibrate. Create routine. Add action. Save. So I'm going to save it now. Modes and routines. Again. Done. Button. Not going to change the name of it or customize it in any way. Unlock with fingerprint to save. Modes and routines. Create routine button. Okay, so I'm going to do one more. And this is going to set the screen brightness to zero. Create routine. If. Add condition. Then. Add condition. Condition. Unlock with fingerprint. Unlock with fingerprint. This time I'm going to use my Sele middle. Not selected. Left middle. Selected. Cancel. Done. But create routine. Add action. Actions. Connected devices. Sounds and vibe. Notification. Display. Display. Dark mode. Grayscale. Brightness. 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 Changing the brightness will also turn off adaptive brightness. And I'm okay with that because I already have that turned off. 100%. 255 slider. So I'm going to move this slider all the way down. Zero slider. Cancel but done button. Brightness. Create routine. Add action. Okay, so I'm going to hit. Save. Save. Modes and routes. Done button. And done. Unlock with fingerprint 3 saved. Modes and routines. Okay. Create routine. Home. Search. So. Double tap and drag to move. I'm just on my home screen now. I'm going to turn off the phone screen. Screen off. Ringer I'm gonna, silent. I'm going to unlock the normal way. 1041 AM. Device unlocked. Home. Search. So. Double tap and drag to move. As you can see, I'm still on the home screen. Now I'm going to turn off the screen and unlock with my left thumb and that should screen off open directly into lookout. 10:42 a.m. Device unlocked. Home. So search. 
Duck two selected text mode. So I'm in lookout now. Bye. One. Oh, and so I'm gonna go back home. home. So that search, double tap and drag, chase. So that took me directly into lookout. Now I'm going to show you notification shade. 1042 sound on button. See, my sound is on, so I'm going to toggle this. Vibrate on. Vibrate. Mute on. Mute. Sound on. Sound is on. So, I'm going to turn off the screen. Screen off. Ringer silent. Unlock with my left index finger. This should put my phone on silent. 10.43 a.m. So Device unlocked. Home. It's, it's unlocked, Chase. and I've felt a vibration. So I know that it's done it, but I'm just going to confirm. Notification shade. Mute on button. So as you can see, it's now on mute mode. So if I want to turn the sound back on. Sound on. So. the I'm going to show you the screen brightness now. 100% display brightness slider. Turn the screen off. Screen off. Ringer silent. Unlock with my middle finger. On my left hand. 10.44 a.m. Device unlocked. Home. Chase. Notification shade. 10.44 a.m. 0% display brightness slider. So the brightness has been put to zero. So these are just three examples of things you can do. You can assign it to three different apps if you want to. Um, you can do anything Samsung routines are very powerful, so you could just look through all the options, but there's so many different things you can do. And there's different ways to trigger the routines, but just one of the ways you can is by unlocking with a specific finger. So I hope this helps. This will make specific tasks that you do often very easy. So thank you for listening. Thanks for listening to another clip from the Blind Android Users channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're notified of every new material that we upload. Thanks again for listening to the Blind Android Users channel.